whole lot of people at the show. Dude, holy crap. First pickups of the day here. Nice booker with toning on both sides. Do you need some? Interesting hot lips here. You kind of see that right there. First Pretty nice MS66 Morgan with CAC sticker. I like this one a lot. And a nice original barber. Might have a shot at a CAC sticker. Okay, everyone, I am at the Texas Coin Show with A and Z Coins. Do you want to introduce yourself to the audience? Uh, yeah, uh, my name is Josue. I am the uh, owner operator of uh, AZ Coin Company, uh, based out of Flower Mound, Texas. Uh, I've got uh, my two uh, partners here. I've got uh, Enoch and uh, Claudio, uh, both jewelry and uh, Mexican coin specialists and historians. And um, yeah, we're out here. So, how did you get started in the hobby, collecting and now selling? Well, I started working off at a pawn shop for about three, almost four years, um, and the previous owner dealt a lot in coins, um, and I just looked at one, picked up a Libertad one day, and started learning about it. Yeah, I mean, the, you know, that's pretty much where it, where it kind of took off, and I asked if there was money in it, and he kind of showed me the ropes on how it works. So, uh, what, do you, what do you like to collect out of all the things that you come across? Uh, mainly, you know, toner libertads are a big one for me. Uh, it's an expensive hobby, and recently I got into uh, into JM, into a lot of Johnson Matthey, uh, particularly uh, Escalante bars uh, from the Escalante mine, Rancher bars. Uh, that's pretty much uh, a hobby of mine now. Okay. And if people were interested in purchasing stuff from you, asking you questions, where could they find you? Uh, they can find me on Instagram mainly. Um, uh, my tag is uh, az underscore coins. Um, or they can look me up on Google uh, AZ Coin Company out of Flower Mound. It's got my phone number and you can text me or call me on there. It's got my email as well. Um, any one of those ways are you know quick and easy ways to reach me. Okay. And do you do appointment only or is it uh, just open hours to the general public? Right now I do appointment only. Um, I also do uh, Skype or uh, FaceTime. Uh, but in my physical location is appointment only for now. Okay. Thank you so much. I appreciate your time. Thank you. Hey guys, second day of uh, the Grapevine show. Got some stuff to show you guys. Let's take a look back here, Casey. Okay, we just got home from the Grapevine show. Tried to film at the Grapevine show, and we could. So uh, we're here to film the coins now. Uh, I guess they thought that we were exchanging money or trying to make deals, but we were just trying to share with our friends and with you guys uh, what we picked up. But now that we're home, we'll show you guys some stuff. Let me take the camera and uh, you'll enjoy these coins. Okay, first up, we're starting off with the raw coins here. Uh, we ended up picking up uh, this pretty interesting 1991 uh, ASC. Uh, it's got some rainbow around the rim. I don't think any of these have been cleaned. Did take a loop to these this time and just to check on them. Um, but I think this coin's a pretty strong one. Um, the one I like even better though is this 1987. Uh, as you can see, rainbow going all the way around the rim. Uh, just an earlier date. Very happy with this one. He offered it to me for an extremely fair price. Uh, couldn't be thankful enough. Um, but can't wait to see what PCGS says about those. Uh, here's some interesting dollars that we picked up. Just super cheap. Um, this one's a 1900S. Um, I do think these most of these have been cleaned um, in some capacity. But if they're key date dollars for 40 bucks each, you know, like... You can't pass up coins like this at a coin show. Uh, this one's kind of my most favorite. Um, this one is like, uh, it almost looks proof-like on the coin when I took a look at it in person. Um, it just has some really interesting fields. I do think uh, this coin has been clean as well, but offering coins like this on the website for hole fillers for collections is super easy just because most people are looking for just decent shaped coins uh, to fill their albums. Uh, this is uh, another one that we picked up, another 1892. I think this one might be an O here. Let me double check real quick. Yep, that's a 1892O. Uh, Another circulated example. Um, this one actually just might be AU, uh, but super cool. Really like this one. And the next one we want to show you guys is this 1884. I think this one is an 1884S. Uh, you know, I think he offered them to a guy. He said, I'll, bu I'll buy them from you super cheap if you want to get rid of them. The guy sold to him super cheap. And I came over right after that, and he's like, hey, you want to pay $5 more uh, for each one? So this one was 40 I just paid 45 for it. 
But I mean, 1884S, I mean, in that, in that good of shape, you're, you're making some money all day long. But next one I wanted to show you guys is this 1853 uh, Arrows and Rays uh, quarter. And the reason why I picked this one up is because it has some interesting color on both sides of the coin. And I always like to buy Arrows and Rays coins. Um, but you can kind of see this purple, a little bit um, of brown on the rim there. Uh, but when you flip it over, it has a lot of orange and blue. It's kind of interesting to see. Uh, it's almost like it got filled back in over time as things circulated, but uh, pretty interesting uh, arrows and rays uh, seated quarter. Next one we want to show you guys is a really big kahuna here. This is 1864S uh, seated dime. Um, there's very few mintage of these. I think there's only 230,000. Super original piece. It does have a few hits uh, in the fields, especially right next to her head there if I can get it. Yep, see? Uh, I think this coin, uh, you know, is is decent for the grade, but I do not think this coin would cack. Ended up paying gray sheet bid on this coin, so uh, extremely happy to buy a KD coin for that price. Um, all these coins will be available on our website, AkushaCollectibles.com. But let me show you uh, a kind of affordable coin, but a pretty interesting one. Uh, this is a 1948D uh, Booker T. Washington, graded MS65 by PCGS. Uh, it has some interesting toning to the right side of the coin. Uh, it still has some interesting luster as well. I think it's a pretty nice coin. Didn't pay too much for it. I'm not going to offer for too much as well. But when you can get a little character on a commemorative, you like, you just want to pick it up um, and offer it to your uh, to your customers. But uh, let's see a few more coins that we ended up getting. This is a 1938D Buffalo nickel. Uh, the reason why I like this coin so much because if you take a look at it, kind of to the right of the face, it has some interesting rainbows. Um, in front of its face, um, you know, a pretty common date coin, but I like the character that it has, so ended up supporting a small numismatist when I picked this one up, so thank you Isaiah Nicely for this coin, ended up buying that one on Instagram. This is uh, one of the coolest coins of the video, this is an 1888O, a double die obverse hot lips, and if you can zoom in right here, you can see there's kind of a lips doubling right there, I really like the coin a lot. Um, but shout out to Coach, he's one of the dealers at the show, offered this to me for a, a steal, and so very happy to get my first ever Hot Lips um, on to the page for you guys. Just a pretty neat coin, but let me share some of the bigger coins that we're going to end up sending to CAC later this week. We'll actually have another video Friday showing you guys the rest of the stuff that we're sending to CAC, but let me do a brief overview of these. This is the 1873S Half Dime, uh, very original coin. Has some luster, but not a lot. Uh, bought this one at the show, um, and I had to work hard for this one. I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit more about that one when we send it off. This is a 1919 SLQ, rated MS64 by PCGS. Unbelievable luster. I don't see too many problems with the coin as well. I do think this coin has a strong shot at CAC, and I do think this is a gem state luster for the coin. Uh, let me show you guys these two other ones that we got. This is one we bought at the show. Um, this is a 1907 Barber Quarter. Has some interesting color on the obverse. I think it was circulated on the obverse, but if you check out the reverse, it's pretty uh, problem free. Luster is still eminent on the coin, as you can see by that cartwheel. And here's one we bought from Coach as well. This one is a 1901 Barber Quarter. Great MS64 by NGC. Has some interesting color on the coin. It's got that kind of green and brown on it. Just kind of how you want to find barbers, nice and original, no problems with the coin whatsoever. So I think CAC will like this one as well. We'll see how it goes, but thank you guys for watching this part of the video. Uh, we wanted to show coin uh, the coins that Cole picked up as well, and but they, like I said, they stopped us in, the, in between. So we're going to show you guys right now what Cole bought. He's going to give us a quick breakdown of his coins. Are you guys enjoying today's video so far? Grapevine Day 2 was amazing, a lot of great coins, but... Uh, if you guys are enjoying the video, please leave a like, comment your thoughts down below, and subscribe if you're new. Let's get back to today's video. How's it going, everyone? I'm Cole. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't get time to show off my part of the pickups from Grapevine yesterday, so I will be doing it from my house without Drew. Um, but anyways, I guess I'll I guess I'll get started on this. I'll, I'll save the two Mexican coins for the end, but for now, I guess I will go denomination order. You know, I grabbed this, I figured, I just don't see too many 1909Ps. Just, 
Just a cooler coin, older holder. I'll polish out the slab. Still has good luster. I got it for a good deal, so might as well. Again, another good deal coin. Just a pretty coin, good true view. Some nice color on the back. I thought it was plus worthy, but I don't know. There's no, I'm not gonna resubmit it, but I might as well get a nice coin, send it to CAC. Uh, here's a coin that I am confident will gold CAC. It's really pretty. Looks like a six, six full band, no issues. I mean, of course, your occasional hit every now and then, but that's what a six will have. Here's another coin that I think will go keg. Really nice Rattler, older quarter. Don't be confused with a, a scratch and a die crack. If you loop it, that's actually a crack on the die, which looks like a it looks like a hairline, but it's not actually. <clears throat> and I actually I bought this coin for like twenty five dollars. Um, I was like, oh yes, why is it graded sixty one? You know, I'll take a look at it. Sure, I'll. I'll take a shot and get it home, but uh, actually under light, right here in the right field, there's a quite a bit of hairline, so this coin will not be going to CAC. Would have been cool to make a or to make a gold CAC in a newer holder. This is a 1890 or 1880 over nine. I just uh, I bought this good price, cool over date. You can you can actually see the nine and the the O or the zero right there. Good looking coin, I'll send it to CAG. That'll be good with the CAG sticker. It's, it's nice. It's cool to see, cool to see overdates. So this group minus the Annex holder, I bought all in one group because, you know, some of these cert numbers are all, or specifically these ones are all consecutive and it's just cooler to see older groups like that. Um, this one has no varieties. I, I do check for all the varieties. It's just a nice, nice 64. Nice reverse. I love I love fatty color. I mean, fatties are my favorite holders, and I'm super drew, uh, jealous of Drew and Casey getting that uh, peace dollar in a two, uh, NGC 2.1. That's a really pretty coin. I'm still looking for one of those holders, so fingers crossed. Hopefully, I I thought this was a 64. I mean, it, yeah, it has a little bit of like it's just messy, you know. But the reverse is so clean. So hopefully John will find that this is gold cack worthy. It won't be an expensive coin, but it'll be cool. Uh, here's another one. This is just solid for the grade. Nice 64. A little bit of color. Just a pretty coin. Reverses again is nice. Uh, here's one of the nicer ones out of the group. This is an 81S. There's a lot of 81S in here, if, if y'all saw. It's a really pretty coin. Definitely deserves a CAC sticker. Reverse is amazing. Reverse would get a gold sticker all day long. Nice color, just, it's, it's nice. Um, here is one I think will gold sticker. It's, it's super clean. There's, there's like a few, you know, occasional little hits and stuff, but other than that, it has a slight haze, which is just originality. Um, I think this one has the best shot at seven. And the reverse is just so insane. Now, keep in mind, don't get this confused with hairlines or a wipe and dye polish because if you can see it goes through the design. So that's dye polish. But it's just, that's, this is a really nice coin. I'm sad that the holograms messed up, but we can't get them all perfect. This coin I will, I say will sticker. It's just nice, has bowl luster. A little bit of color to it. But unfortunately it has a spot. Again, great luster. Should get a green sticker. Here's another one of my personal favorites. 82S has a little bit more color than the rest of the group. I think this one and this coin have the best shot of getting gold stickers. So, fingers crossed. Again, reverse is just amazing. And then this was not part of the group, but I got this for a good deal, so I had to jump on it. It's a really pretty 83P. And an older holder as well. No issues, just nice, original. Back to the group, there was two dates that were not 81S or 82S. You know, this is cooler to see these dates in, so, uh, in fatty. I'm sorry about that, everyone. As I was picking up the last two coins, I got a phone call. So now we're back at it. 
Nice 86p, my gold keg. Just nice, minimal hits, good eye appeal, nice reverse. Really good surface texture. And then here is on to the more weird date for a soapbox. It's a 1897. Really good satiny luster to it. It's clean. It's not a 7, but it's a 6. You can see that really nice satin luster. It's just a pretty coin. And then on to the two Mexican coins at the top. Drew actually pat or Drew actually let me get this one as he was looking at it, which I appreciate because I have a soapbox collection. Nice coin. Nice color. World of coins are just harder to find in soap boxes, you know? Really good looking piece. And then here's probably my favorite from the whole coin show. Um, so a lot of people passed on this coin. Saw it, they looked at it, just, you know, passed on it. But I was like, you know what? I'll take a look at it. This is my first eight reals. I've had Cabalito pesos before, but never had a cap and raise. You know, it has a lot of hairlines, but it's also quite proof like. Um, so I expect it to, but the color is just crazy. Just a great coin, really good color. They retail about $500, I think, white. So I don't know. I don't know what I'll do with it. I paid really good on it. And, uh, you know, he offered me a better price, but I was like, you know what? I'll just pay this. You know, it's like, I don't know, just little things to improve a relationship with a dealer. So. Hopefully it will benefit me along the lines, and yeah, just a really nice coin. I'm going to send this to PCGS and cross it, hopefully, hopefully it crosses, but that was it for the coin show, and then I just have one more coin to show, and this is, you know, there's always good deals to pick up on eBay. I don't think y'all should ever pass up eBay deals. Um, it's a gold CAC, 65 full band. I actually paid 70, $75 for it. And, you know that's that's quite cheap for a full band. I think that's that's price guide for a for a 1941 and 65 full band. But you know, never pass up on eBay. Just take advantage of deals if you can get them. Money money to be made is money to be made, even if it's 20 bucks. So you know, just don't bat an eye. Always keep a uh, always keep your eyes open for deals. Anyways, thanks y'all. Thank you guys for watching today's video. If you guys did enjoy today's video, please leave a like. Uh, comment your thoughts down below. What do you think of the coins? What do you think of uh, the show? We would love to hear from you. And subscribe if you're new. I mean, we're on the brink of 2,000 subscribers. We want 2,000 subscribers. That would be awesome. But we will see you guys in the next video.